young eyes see the world for what it is. But from our teachers we learn. Peridolia. Our vision warps until we see nothing but distorted versions of ourselves in every stone and socket. And when one sees his sin etched in every inch, he's left with no choice but blindness. I was full. That I was gone. No. I will hound you until I swallow your every star. Too slow. Always too slow. Funny. No bottle down here. I can barely even see myself with these pieces missing. Progress. We're getting there. Got it. One more shard. There. What is that? Someone once told me, the man who stands at a strange threshold should be cautious before he crosses it. But what else am I going to do? I... I did it! I made it back! It's not even locked. I... I'm here. What? What is that? No! Oh, 
this is always my favorite part. Like I told you, you always drop the ball at the end. No! Don't bother. I'm already inside your head. You know that. I've always been watching. Watching you squander and ruin every single good thing in your life. Did you think you could win? Idiot. Take a good look at the setting you made for our little escapade. In your heart, you knew this was a carnival game. You knew life was a carnival game. Rigged from start to finish. It was never a matter of winning. Just a question of how much you would lose before you realized it was time to quit. Well, ready to quit yet? Running from that dark thing always just behind you, like a black dog. Hungry, hangry, relentless. And you fed it, didn't you? Let it grow big enough to swallow the sun, didn't you? And now? Now there's nowhere left to run. After all, a man is meant to be the hero of his own adventure. But not you. You are just a husk. A rat. They don't have a cutting edge. People should know the playwright's truth. Death is never a tragedy. Death is where a tragedy ends. Metaphors, excuses, and equivocations. And a woman, always just out of reach. Fallen enough. What do we make of a man who plays a deadly game, but only when the rules say he can't die? You're worse than a pawn. A sacrifice can't save your queen. And even if you reach the end of the board, she's not coming back. 
And it's all your fault. to feel like deja vu but not quite now you're going to think I'm telling you about jamais vu for the first time no matter how often we've already had this conversation it's when you've heard something before been somewhere before met someone before and yet it feels completely unfamiliar if a man writes death a thousand times, he starts to wonder, is that even a word? But it is. Oh, how it is. somewhere. No. You're on a journey to nowhere, and you're wearing yourself to nothing. I need to put them on first. Do you really think you can escape me? did it. I made it. But the dark thing, it's right behind me. There is no dark thing, you liar. These symbols are evasions. Crows, crabs, clowns. This crab bag of myths and masks and make-believe. It's all an evasion. She's dead. Do you understand? You can't talk your way out of that. You can't cut your way out of that. You can't imagine your way out of that. This... this figment. This fragment. Savor all you want. Or don't. It doesn't matter. She's a fake. And you're a fraud. You already failed. You didn't save her. You can't. She's dead. This whole carnival is a lie. A funhouse mirror. Because you're too ashamed to look in a real mirror and see who you really are. You know I'm right. The only thing in your whole damned adventure that's ever been true is what I've been saying. I am your mirror. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's lying. He's telling you facts. But what a mirror can show is a dim reflection at best. Our lives, ourselves, they're more than just facts. They're truths. And all those symbols let us see the world's truths through the eyes of another. As a lover's eyes show us our own bright selves. You saw me. And I have never stopped seeing you, my love. But are you dead? Yes, dead. Not gone. I'm here, aren't I? But the dark thing is here too. If there's a shadow in your mind, it's because there's a light in your mind to cast it. You thought I was the light, but it was always inside you. I saw it. The whole world is full of lights, shining in the darkness, like the sky is full of stars, and the field is filled with fireflies. You thought I caught you as you fell through darkness, but you were the light I saw. We caught each other. In here, out there, our light is still shining. And now, once more, you need to spread your wings and fly toward that light. How? Every time I've tried to fly, I've crashed. And now the wings are gone. You have what you need, my love. He has nothing. And he will fly nowhere. Beyond this gloom in which you're hiding, there's just reality. As hard and sharp as a knife. Out there is what you're running from. Your black dog. Your dark thing. Your shadow. We are the reflection of a life you can't look in the face. Don't look it in the face, my love. Look it in the eyes. And soar. Really? Are you faster than thought? Stronger than shame? Even on your best days, you couldn't rid yourself of me. And now? Well... If this is the end you want, nothing would give me greater pleasure, shall we? Yes, we shall. Man goes to the shrink, throws himself down on the couch. Doc, he says, I got this horrible thought stuck in my head and it just won't go away. Shrink says, that's not a thought, you idiot. It's a five-foot spike of darkness. Man says, okay, but how can I get rid of it? Shrink says, well, I wouldn't suggest a knife. 